join my family and I as we go to the Wildwood, New Jersey Cinecee Film Convention. Had a great time with some great people, as you will soon see. And at the end of the video, you are going to see the last surviving storefront Nickelodeon in the entire United States, all in beautiful Wildwood, New Jersey. Let's get started. Well, we are now officially at the Hoshin Holiday Motel in Wildwood. And we are here for the film party. So now we have our hospitality room. That's where it's being held. We got here very late. It's almost midnight on Friday night. There are a few leftovers in the hospitality room. Ah, here we are. The hospitality room. Look, he's already got some reels. This is the official screening room. We got a big, beautiful screen. And did you say how much you hated Jillian? We're ready for <laughs> film a go go. I'm still the Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh God, I remember that joke. You want a new one? You gotta come up with a new one. The Ampro is running. We got a lot of happy people here. It ran on my Bell and Howl. Bell and Howl is running merrily away. There's the Ampro. It's still running. Look, there's even a threading light. So you can see what's going on. And look, there's even a lamp to put on the Technicolor production. Actually, it's Kodachrome. Beautiful Kodachrome. And you can hear the sound. I can't wait to watch it. Going, well, it's close enough. Hey, you're going to have fucked up my soundies. Oh, there's the other Ampro. This is vintage, what do you think, 40? That's the YSA 41. 41, 1941. Well, I hope it's still under warranty. Yeah. <laughs> now, there's our incandescent bulb. And look, still got all the information in case you they have to call Ampro to get a part. Yeah, right. Now, see, they even, see how they even light up the... The projector amplifier, right. look, you can plug in a microphone. We'll a nice Silent speed, sound, forward and reverse. And if, if you can see it, this is moving very fast. Okay, let me turn this light on. That's the sound head. And the film spins over the sound head. And this makes it nice and smooth. See here, it's jerky. So it has to go through these rollers to slow it, to, to make it nice and smooth. Two sprockets pull it through the machine. These are just rollers. And that's called the snubbing wheel. So if you bump the reel by accident, okay. What didn't they think of back then? See, look at that. good stuff. Yeah. And it is a precision projector. They did a nice job with that too. Did they call it a non-provision? Non-provision if it wasn't, right? Non-provision. No, this is a precision. Remember you well. There's a late model car. A Cliff Robinson. It's a TV show called The Wide Country. Uh, that's the trouble, son. I was wondering if you might take us to St. Andrews. We ain't got the price for our bus ticket. Oh, it was sweet. That's what I'm wrong. Ah, let's see how mother... Oh, there's mother. He didn't say yet. Here she is. I think he's going to take her. I, I don't think he has a problem getting there. Now we have 8mm here. Ah, oh, remember the deep? Donna Summer did Don, these are these are um, uh, edited versions. That's Super 8. That, that would probably run about 18 minutes. Condensation. Mini movie posters. More film. It'll be it'll be nice and busy tomorrow. 
I like the parrot. I like the Eiffel Tower sequence. I thought that oh, was Oh, absolutely, great. absolutely. And I, like the, and I like this house, you know, exploding. Enjoyed <laughs> the house sequence. George and I like the little robot girl. I like. I did like. I like. I like the oh, movie. I loved I did her. Like the there's a, there's, there's I like basic. It. Alas, tomorrow. Uh oh, he's a, checking out. A is it red or, or green? It could be red or green. What color is it? It's not. It's black and white. Black and white. Let's see. You know that movie? Out west with the heart now. Of course you do. But it's, it's obviously it's real one. Now Voyager. And look, a deluxe splicer. Oh, that's a nice splicer. What did, what did you look, this must be a cereal. Now look, right here. Undersea Kingdom. That's the first episode. It's 30 minutes to get you hooked. And then 18 minute episodes after that. How many, uh, how many, 13? 13? So you came back to the theater every week and you saw See, another one. Did. See, what you do is you read this all 12 chapters complete. 12 chapters, 13. there we go. There we go, now we know. That's good. There's a printer to catch a thief. Now Voyager. Dead man, tell no, t tell no tales. Yes. House of Dracula. Yeah, it's a dude, but not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Where is that? Where did he put it? And here we are, Saturday morning, 64 degrees, brisk wind blowing. And we're on our way to breakfast. It's a beautiful sky. Settle for breakfast at the Crusader, which is right on the water. Well, after a rounding breakfast, we have a very loud, boisterous group returning from breakfast as we open up the dealer's room a little early, but we're going to set up. Gary, my first sale. I bought the reels. I ten, bought the ten reels. Dollars ten dollars. Empty reels. They're right there. And he's got oh. the reels right there. And Klaus is here taking film, making still history. Yes. Picture history. Look, I got the motion light set up. Okay. I got all kinds of great stuff, including a piece of Goldfinger. But sadly, it's gone vinegared, hasn't it, Gary? I it's never a good thing. VS. He stays away from VS. But I got some Three Stooges, Stone Age Romeo's, two prints of that. 1955, a 51 Stooges, and a 1950 Hugs and Mugs. Price to go. Look, somebody's got a nice color print of To Catch a Thief running. Can you see that? That's been there as long as I had it. face it out. All looks good so far. I think the zoom was all the way in there. Ah. Oh, he's checking out a Disney. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, the mouse one. The mouse picture. No, I can't move this. Yeah, but you can't beat it. It's got. Does that, that one have the can in it? No, it doesn't. No. I thought it may have the original. This, this Feliz Navidad has the original can. I think that's the, uh, the song. I don't really know, actually. So we listed everything here. Just three features. Nothing much today. And look, here's uh, the Marx Brothers' last movie together. Love Happy. Disney Pinocchio. Barabbas. And there's the Bugs Bunny Looney movie. In die transfer, right? Die transfer. Die transfer. No, we're just kidding. No die transfer. Look! Where's your table? My beautiful wife. <laughs> She's out of bed. Unburied. It's chilly? No, not really. It's, it's a little chilly. It's 64 degrees, but there's a nice breeze. Breeze of blowing. Movie posters a go-go. I have some very nice movie posters. <gasps> That's right. <gasps> I've been collecting movie posters for the past uh, 10, 12 years. It's a big hobby of mine. Wow! I've been collecting them movie since, posters. Uh, you know, the early 70s. I'm not All mounted. They have the cardboard to keep them uh, still. Collide with Titanic. Destiny. Yes, look at that. I could see that. You know, I could see that on Tammy's wall. We better hide that. Or we'll be coming home with movie posters a go go. Yeah. 
Now here we got mini movie posters. Now this is more like it, Pam. Yeah, this is small. There we are. Smaller posters. <coughs> Buy two for $10 each. There we go. Now here's an interesting thing. If you look, the screen is moving from the wind and the scene is moving. So this is what we call, look at that move, okay? See all the screens are moving? This is a moving picture. Or even 4D. We are, but you know what, we're having fun. And look, the, this is a Nike, one of the last uh, 16 millimeters made. Some people call it an Aki, but uh, very nice, it's a very quiet projector. And this is also, if you notice here, this is a, a, um, a Xenon bolt. So that's a super bright bolt, Mark 300. And there goes the show! It's perfect conditions for flying a kite, isn't it, Pam? Look, it's a film kite. <laughs> a, a film kite. Ah. It's a film kite. We're sitting here enjoying the sun. The beach. The beach. And the waves. And we may even walk out there and put our tooties in the ocean. No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's chilly. I'm the only one here with a... Uh, We're on our second honeymoon. Yes. And our land, I mean... <laughs> oh! That's not <laughs> nice. Oh. Okay, okay, Yes, go. Yes, 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 you can actually see, see how it widens out the picture? It runs through a regular lens and then widens it out at the other end. Exactly. Now, do you think that would go well with me to make me widescreen? <laughs> you know, I, I you know I have a way to make my I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make the two of us widescreen. Watch. Aha, we're widescreen. The magic of film. Well, we decided to go to lunch and we're at Greens. The girls are getting instruction on how to turn on the motor. All right, same the engine. Okay. Right, here's your brake. Okay. Uh oh. It looks like I've been relegated okay. to the rear. Okay. So I'm not going to have any okay. control. Well. Okay. Here's in case you want to check the makeup. So. <laughs> They'll be doing that often. Uh oh. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's go over on that side. Now. You better get going, girl, because I'm getting bored. We are at the end of the Wildwood Boardwalk. <laughs> this is me getting all scared. <laughs> and we were in the crest. So we were in the southern end of the boardwalk. Come on, everybody. Come on. <sighs> that didn't work, did it, girls? No. <laughs> now we'll have to push up. Oh, wait till we swing down. Oh, my God. I'm going to be screaming. Here we go. That's where you got your t shirt. That one day. <laughs> Now the uh, road races, we understand, are on the beach. There's a lot of people on the boardwalk. There's the water park. The girls are all excited about going to. That's right. In October. And the arcade is in the basement of the and boardwalk we mall. Can't Half mile point. Yep. Did you see the did you see the marking here? Yep. Got it now. 
of course we had to stop for the henna. Do you think I would look good with the henna? Of course. I'm not going to answer that. Yes, there it is. But he won't, he won't let you take any films. So we're going to go up here and see what we see. Better not touch Betty. Just a regular oh. chocolate sandwich? Yeah, with just mayonnaise on it. Another professor. What do you want to order? pointed out that these are the authenticity certification guaranteeing that that is in fact a dead fly. <laughs> right? This is so we've been guaranteed. Oh. The girls think I have a warped sense of humor. <laughs> well here it is folks. There's the peanut butter, the onions, the bacon, and of course, the burger. And of course, you have to have a sour pickle. Very got the chicken. I got a plain hamburger. Very got the family got the plain. I will get some ketchup now. Yeah. It's subtle but intriguing. Jared, I really don't need to look here. Anymore. Jared thought I'd I'd fit this hat well. What do you think? We came in here to shop for some jewelry, and, and it's the end. It's the end of the season, so everything's on clearance. Look, fragrance lights. What's the name of the store again? So people can find you next year. Well, it'll be next year because he closes in two weeks. We're at the very end of the boardwalk. Almost. We're not at the end. Come on, there's another four hundred feet. Yeah. What? I am the only one to speak English on the boardwalk. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Well, what do you think? Should I wear this on a regular basis? You'd, you'd look like Bert from Mary Poppins Bert all day long. No, you said the newsie. You do look like a newsie. Sharp. It makes your head look small. I didn't say it means a bad thing. I think I like it. Say <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Sometimes I forget. Triv and Robin's Boardwalk Emporium for some Briar's ice cream. It's really yummy. Tammy ordered the deluxe. I did. That's and I would. They very graciously. Gave us ice cream. Wasn't that nice? Come see him yep. And this is your last day, you think, right? Yeah. This is also at the end of the boardwalks, right next door. Yeah. That's the boardwalk. That's right. Cakes on the boardwalk. That's right. And it's all Briars. We love Briars. That's good. That's good stuff. And here we are. So we're real close. And there's our friends at the sales store. They're waiting for me to board. Now, we're going to show you the differences between flat and scope. Now, that's the regular lens that gives you a 4x3, and this is your anamorphic. Now, this particular print is flat. But when you swing the lens in front, like so, it widens the picture out and it becomes widescreen. Now, of course, you can see part of the picture here and it goes all the way over to here. But of course, the people are double the size, they're out of proportion. But widescreen is especially good when you're projecting the likes of me on the screen. <laughs> See, I can widen out the 
screen. <laughs> See, now you know the difference between flat and scope. Good. Outside, that means there's a long wait. It's a five hour wait. Okay. Oh no! It's about time. You're late. We're late. You're late. Always for this place. You're late. Look at this poster in here, guys and ladies. Right inside on the wall is Duncan Rodaldo. Look at the poster, but we're on the right. See, look, the Cisco Kid. And our group. We're filling the room, aren't we? <laughs> filling the room. Hi, Lou. I didn't see you over there today. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> all right, we're all gathered together here for our final dinner at our. It is our final dinner for, for, for tonight. Uh, for tonight. For tonight. Yeah, some of you are staying overnight, but this way everybody knows we're having all this fun. Look at everybody in here. Almost yeah, everybody at, came at, to dinner. <laughs> And the only unfortunate thing about this particular restaurant, and Shorty was telling me this, is that they don't have a buffet. <laughs> There's no buffet, is there, young man? Am I so embarrassed? <laughs> See, if you watched our Syracuse film, uh, then you would all understand uh, I, the meaning of buffet. <laughs> And now we're patiently waiting for our delicious dinner. Highly recommended this was, right? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Highly recommended. We wouldn't be here otherwise. And then, then we're going back for movies tonight. And yeah. I just want to say how honored we are that you would pick this particular day to come to our event because I understand it's kind of close to your birthday. Now, yes, this, it is. this is a particularly important We're going to birthday. celebrate it tonight. We have a cake. So we will celebrate me. As I turn 60. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I want to make a deal. Forty years, or forty years from now, I'll be a hundred, and I think we should reserve this room in advance. Some wheelchairs. Put your hand on top of your wife's hand. My lovely wife. And that's the last time you'll ever have the upper hand. You're right. First piece for you, sir. The first piece goes to me. And, and that's actually a bigger piece than I thought. <laughs> well, we're back and ready for the feature film. We're not sure what it is yet. But we're going to all gather here in a few minutes.
did. What time is it? Two. Two a.m. I might be long. Well, there are only a few of us survive. Eight of us have survived till the end. We had three extra stereos. Yes. <laughs> Well, our last breakfast at Uncle Bill's. Uh oh. We lost about half of our people. Yep. Yes. <laughs> you lost your whole family. Uh, you know where my family is? Right here. <laughs> oh. You're transmitting. <laughs> well, we're officially done. We have several leaving right from here. Good time was had by all. Uh, it's the second shift of breakfast. The second shift. Another shift of guys and girls for breakfast. Hey guys, our last breakfast together, huh? Okay. Like, now, but let's not I, say last. But I noticed that Ed, Ed, Ed and, uh, and Danny aren't here. I mean, I don't know what happened. Did, did, did you see him? You know, I'll bet we could get them to join us right here. Right? How about right here? Do you think I can make them up here? We only have 25 cents. Get something small. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go ahead. See, I was here at dinner after all. You were, weren't you? Yes, I was. Did you have a good dinner? Excellent. Uh, bad joke. But look, they, they did appear. Our last breakfast until next April. Yes. So you can come back next April and join us for breakfast here, right? On the shore. Look, there's the shoreline. Oh, boy. The packing is happening. The last minute deals. Last-minute deals. Last-minute deals. Stand. And I lost the piece. Let me get it. Just like any convention, there's always last-minute deals. I'm loading up my box. Group picture. Wait, wait, wait. We're going hanging out, ladies. That's awesome. That one. Good. See, now... How about gentlemen in the back? Hey man, which one? Group time? Go for it. Group time. Well, I hope you enjoyed our film convention. And you can email either Doug or Lou right here about the next one, which will be in April 2016. We're planning to attend too, so maybe you'd like to come down too. Great rates at this motel, because it's off season. And now, the Sea Cinema, the last surviving storefront Nickelodeon in the United States. Who would have guessed that on 4005 Pacific Avenue, Wildwood, New Jersey, would sit the final storefront Nickelodeon in the United States. And it's for sale. Let's go inside and meet the owner. When do you think the theater was built? Somewhere around 1916. Uh, that's local myth. 1916. And can you tell us, uh, were they running silent, and obviously silent films, but did it operate just for the season? We don't know if it operated for one season or one year. What we were able to get is that wherever the, uh, the original screen was, there were approximately three musicians, which, well, this place would hold about 124, 25 people in it at least. Uh, but uh, there were three musicians, piano, a pianist, a uh, percussionist, and we don't know what the third one would have been, but uh, theoretically there were three. Wow, now, the, the reliefs on the wall. Oh my gosh, they have a story. Uh, we were trying to figure out what would have been here originally. We found the original paper, wallpaper, uh, some things just aren't meant to come back, so <laughs> we thought, no, what else would have been in the area? And this is what we came up with. These are struck, they, they, they were striped from original molds, original dyes, out in the Midwest. There was a company there 
that we dealt with. Uh, so they, these are uh, at the beginning of last uh, of the last century. Dies. Uh, they were supposed to be ready in three months. They were supposed to be ready in three months. They weren't. We got a telephone call. But this time I know the lady on the other side of the phone. And I said, you know, oh, it's ready. You're going to send over the stuff. She says, no, no, no. I wanted to tell you we got flooded. I said, oh, that's nice. She says, yeah, we're clearing out the basement. And we just thought you might find it interesting that we have original paperwork from the turn of the century wow. going back to Cape May County. Wow. So... We were pretty much on the money with, uh, with all the... Now, when you took the theater over, what, was the raking in here already? Oh, the heck, there was, a, there was actually a pond in the middle of this place. Uh, there was no ceiling. Oh. And the pond actually had an area of sand around it. Couldn't figure it out until we started shoveling it out. And when we shoveled it out, we figured it was the decomposition of the original ceiling. Wow. How, what, what year did you actually acquire this, then? Uh, well, it was 17 years back. 17. 17 years back. So now I noticed you have speakers on the wall. So you've actually put stereo in. Yeah, that's program sound. Uh, we have a, uh, we do run things in stereo. Can we look in the booth? Sure thing. Let's take a peek in your booth. Ah, you are platter. Yes. So he's got the platter simplex. That's a late model simplex, right? That is a late model. Very curious to that, by the way. Uh, would you say it's 1945? <laughs> uh, 1950-something. Okay, right? oh, this is a real late model. And notice it's a super simplex. I don't know if you saw that movie, um, The Transformers, one of the recent ones, with Mark Wahlberg. And he mentions finding super simplex in the theater. <laughs> These were the workhorses of the industry. It used to run reels, but because you have to have everything easy to operate by one person, the, f the film feeds off the original reels onto the platter. Now, this means you can have two features on the platter and one empty. Right. So he can direct by these rollers where he's going to put the empty film, and he can have two features ready to go. I see you have some 35, too. We do. Which is good. You have probably, we, we call them house prints. Yes, you, you have to have house prints for emergencies. Probably some cartoons and stooges. And I see you have some slides, too. Yes, yes, we have the original slides that welcome you and say goodbye and uh, all sorts of and other I, things. And I see you have one, this projector running that projects that kaleidoscope of color with the name of the theater on it. Right, it's actually called and the Hypno something. The Hypno, oh. Yeah. From it, Hypnotic Bot, or Hot. And look, I see you have the video, just in case, up there. That's a video oh, projector? Yes. Right up there? There's right. a lot of, there's a lot of uh, private parties and people... They bring their own DVDs. Right. And they, they want do. their own films. This is, this is really neat because this was patented. Now, this is a 1950s machine. I always wanted to know what this hole is for. Right. Well, this hole, because it was patented in the 1920s, is actually a crank. And you used to crank the... Uh, Hand crank the projectors. So we, you could convert it back if we absolutely, <laughs> if we had to have our movies cranked. Yes, <laughs> we can do that. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful mechanism? A movement. Uh, this is, this is the sound, sound head. head. That was the right. added for your sound. Right, and this again is older than, than this unit, so it might be the 50s. But you open it up and There's this your exciter. This is well, that's exciter. your head. And that's your bulb in there, right? Right, but that is done via um, laser. So that actually oh. project, projects a laser. That's where you can do stereo then. Right. Okay. So it's been, you've actually had the nerve to update this 40 sound head. Me and everybody else in the industry. <laughs> Me and everybody See, else people in the didn't industry. Know now, of course, this is the newer xenon bulb. Yeah. So, because you didn't have to have the carbon arc. So this is a nice, safe thing. It only requires one vent. And it's easy to strike, and you don't have to sit there, but you do have to change the bulb eventually. Yes. And those bulbs aren't cheap, are they? No, well, they uh, uh, are well over a thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah. Uh, people have discovered that projection, like if you have a projection uh, 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 video, you found that the bulb inside that is expensive. <laughs> now yeah. I see it's a 700 watt, it's but so that means watt. it's got tons of wattage projecting on the screen, and your sound system, along with 
the music you play during the video. These are trailer loops. See these mm -hmm. here? These are, you know, here's his, the lead for the with the exit music, okay? A splicer for 35 millimeter. And then this is how you make up the program. You put the small reels on here and you feed them into the platter. You have to put all five reels together. Yeah. Now, I understand tonight we're not going to be here, but you're going to maybe run Blazing Saddles tonight. That's, well, that's what we hear. The rumor is. The rumor. Out on the street. <laughs> wow, this is really great. And of course, the lighting control so one ah. person can easily operate it. And oh, your scope lens. Look. Scope lens. That's for CinemaScope. So that's for widescreen. And I've already told people all about widescreen. Ah, so that was. You require it. See, that's something. Now that is a lens. That is a lens. Now you can see my hand. <laughs> you can see how big it is. So the lens is on top of the regular lens, and then the scope lens is put on top right. to widen it out for ultra vision, widescreen. <laughs> and nothing more required, a, a cup, a wax cup on top protects the That's top of the lens. Industry standard again. <laughs> Sometimes the simplest things work great. Absolutely. That's what people find out. So <laughs> see, so he's a nice booth here. I see some other films. Since he's not open right now. But this place is available, right? Yes, it's definitely on the market. It's on the market, guys. It's on the market. If somebody wants a 70 th seat theater that is just wonderful and a terrific thing for you to have screenings and private parties, and it's in Wildwood, what could be better? Wow. Possibly the light up there. <laughs> that might, you know what? Let's go and look at that. Is there any history of that? or? Uh, really, no, there, there isn't any history. It's hand-painted. <laughs> That's... And it looks like it's bolted on. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. It is. It's, wow. it's different color uh, leads in there. I want one. <gasps> she wants one. And not the lamp, the theater. Oh, the theater. Oh. <laughs> yes, Wait. well, look. Now, is there a website I can show people? Uh, C Theater. If you put on C Theater... Right here. Uh, See? Yes. The link okay. below. Okay. There we go. The, the oh link below. Can what you guys a beautiful... are watching Blazing Saddles tonight. I'm uh, jealous. Yes. See, if we would have known we would have stayed, but we have to do the radio show. Oh, Excuse oh, me God. while I whip this out. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> <laughs> Is anybody got a dime? Oh, yeah. Somebody's got to go back and get a shitload of dirt. Oh. Somebody go back and get a shitload of dirt. That's yes. my favorite line. Yes. This is the original. We found this on the, uh, on the sort of upstairs of this, on the rafters. Uh, so the, uh, this should probably date back to 1916. You know, it's interesting. In these old theaters, what you find <clears throat> that's been put away for years and never dug out. Yeah. But you've probably been through thoroughly through the theater, but you found it and you this restored it. Yeah, there was a lot of doubt whether this was a theater or not, but after finding this, there was no doubt in my no mind. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. What a wonderful, wonderful tour you have given us. And hopefully, and look, an original ticket box. Ah. Drop your tickets right in. See? The C Theater. Come on into the uh, office. Oh, the, box oh, office. the office. <laughs> I just barely fit with it. <laughs> this isn't designed. So do I, oh, and here's the, the, oh, look, look at this. The box office, the chaser lights, the marquee lighting. See, and somebody sat, and they could order the discount. Oh, no, no, it's not plugged in, but it works. It does. Yeah, I see the button, so I've pushed them down. Ugh. But, and look, here are the marquee letters to change what the name of the movie is. Okay, and a phone that probably connects to the projection room, and that's a neat light fixture. <laughs> That's really neat. And there's some, of course, you have to have pictures here. And look, they did, did 2006 a Community Betterment Award for Main Street, Street Wildwood. Look at that. It's just one of them. <laughs> look, you, it's waiting. It's waiting for somebody to pick the theater up. Oh, 9.5 millimeter. We heard about this. That was and, five years ago. Yep, five years ago they had a 9.5 millimeter. Isn't that something? There's 8 millimeter, super 8, 9.5 millimeter, 16 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 65 millimeter, and 70 millimeter. And then IMAX. And then IMAX. <laughs> All those different film stocks. So this theater should have every one. 
This was presented by University of California by uh, the curator of its uh, oh, wow. museum. Maybe one day this will be back. That's what we want. We want this cash register turned back on and using. Look, there's still popcorn. Oh, should I have a piece of? I think that popcorn has been there for a while. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do it. I do it with the pizza boxes, but I'm not no. going to do it with this. Yes, I have been known to pick out pieces of pizza from here and there. So, why don't both of you guys say goodbye? Yeah, yeah. Gonna shake hands. It's been a pleasure. See, until and, next time. And in April, if you still have the theater, maybe we'll get another quickie tour. Maybe we'll just screen some movies next time. You're all invited back. We're like, bye. Well, Toras Penkowski is ready to sell his Nickelodeon. Would you like to buy it? All you have to do is give him a call. There's his website information, and he'll be happy to give you a tour, and maybe you can own that Nickelodeon. Boy, that would be great fun. I would love to do something like that. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this special edition of the Cine Sea. Good night. Now hit the road!